Well, hello everyone and welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology, Know Your Planets, Know Yourself. And, uh, and today, um, what I want to talk about, um, what I want to talk about today is Fox News. Yeah, Fox News. And really, the, the term news is loosely applied here because we all know that Fox long ago gave up being what one would call a news channel and um, and as you know I like to come up <laughs> for names uh, names of things and situations and people and whatnot and my best description for Fox is basically to call them Foxtrot yeah or Foxtrot Entertainment or Foxtrot Propaganda um, or the like, because what we are seeing, <clears throat> let me just get my notes to make sure that I don't forget anything. What we're basically seeing really and truly, this is kind of almost kind of un well varnished propaganda. And it, it's, it's really quite something because it, it, if you think, uh, America, you know, uh, one of the oldest republics in the world and beacon, <clears throat> beacon of democracy, so to speak, is now in a situation where you literally have blatant lies uh, just being shared and, uh, and dressed up as news. And I just find this mind boggling on, on a certain level because all credibility um, in certain sections of the media in the States has just been lost entirely. Or any kind of consistent sort of international standard that would be recognised as news it, it just simply doesn't exist on certain channels. In the UK, um, Fox News would have actually, they would have had their licence removed, yeah? <laughs> For, for saying some of the stuff that, that they've been saying. Um, and it, it shows too that the news, news is precious. News is, it's always a moving and it's always a roving thing, but it is so precious because <clears throat> it's how people, um, it's how we, perceive how we gain uh, information um, how we try to gain a perspective uh, on the world and it is so important because news has a huge uh, influence as we know um, but it is it never before has news been so corrupted in such an obvious way they're not even trying to pretend that what they are um, saying is news and one of the things that really kind of got me going <clears throat> and why I felt like I needed to do a, a video on Fox is because um, I was watching a, a YouTube channel and it was a comedian that was I can't remember what it's called like this is the week or something like that anyway I forget but he rounds up um, some of the absurdities that happen and he was looking at he was looking at Fox News and he showed a se segment between uh, three male presenters that were cussing out Joe Biden's dog. Yeah. Joe Biden's dog. And they were doing this really while still the height, while still at the height of the Texas, you know, crisis, you know, the power outage. And actually in one of my blogs, uh, I think it was even back in January 2020 or something like that, or the March one. I actually wrote about, um, now I thought it would happen because uh, there would be a power outage because of a terrorist attack or something like that. Turns out it was the weather, which you really could say was pretty much a terrorist terrorist attack by Saturn bringing the, the cold freeze down, you know, to try and, you know, wake some people up and stuff like that. Now, of course, the situation in Texas has been awful. And I really do feel for <clears throat> everyday Texans who have had to put up with such intolerable conditions many have died and 
what I found out recently <clears throat> is that those that did have their electricity maintained, they've been slapped with huge bills. There was this guy, apparently, who's been slapped with an over $16,000 bill, electricity bill. I mean, this is the realms of utter absurdity. I mean, that is utterly absurd. I mean, that's the kind of that's the kind of bill um, federal buildings would get for their electricity bill. It is just an absolute mess. So while Texas was freezing and Ted Cruz liner was doing, you know, his whatever, trying to get to Cancun and then trying to get back to do a PR stunt to gaslight everyone into believing that he was doing everything uh you know he was just being a good father and he was just dropping off his daughters yeah again entertained by foxtrot <clears throat> um while all of this stuff was going on they felt the most important thing to talk about was um joe biden's dog and they were saying what a grubby dog he is <clears throat> oh, this dog needs some help and blah, blah, blah. Coming out with just this absolute flim flam rubbish. You know, and as if that is a newsworthy thing to talk about. I mean, let me tell you about that dog. There is a lot of people that would love to be Joe Biden's dog right now. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's a lot of people in Texas and around the world that would love to be that dog. That dog is living in the White House. I don't care what anyone says. It's getting the best food, been getting looked after. It had a big smile on its face. But it just shows how preposterous things have become. How can this be, you know, considered newsworthy? So I've come up with two archetypes. Yeah. I've come up with two archetypes to describe what I feel is the energy of Foxtrot News. Yeah. And I just want to say as well, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. And of course, this is just my opinion um, uh, on the situation. And, uh, and you can take it with a pinch of salt. Anyway, the first archetype I want to talk about, which is an obvious one, is the gossip. Yeah. Let's put that there. Hopefully that will focus. Sometimes it doesn't. The gossip. Because really, that's pretty much what, what Fox News has become. And the other archetype I want to share here, and this again is from the Caroline Mace deck, Caroline Mace deck which I use in my archetypal blueprint consultations, is the other one is the Don Juan. Yeah, Do, the Don Juan. And why am I mentioning these two? Now, if I read the, if you read, if I read the literal things on there, you would think, oh, maybe it doesn't quite apply to, to Fox News. But I'm talking about really the energy here, the specifics. So part of the shadow attributes of the gossip is thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information and betraying confidences. Yeah. But in a way, this is uh, this has just become gossip extraordinaire because we also know gossip is also used to pass on what false information that's not true and can be can do reputational damage yeah and it's quite interesting because um of course the uh let me just just check me in my notes here because uh that's it dominion and smartmatic have launched a 2.7 billion dollar lawsuit um against Foxtrot, yeah? Foxtrot News. I don't even want to use that word news because it's not even news, but I can, I'm trying to think of a, a propaganda is just a word that's just too long. It doesn't flow. But let's just say Foxtrot, yeah? Foxtrot News. And this is part of what the gossip is, is about. Um, gossip has, they've actually done physiological studies and all this kind of stuff and social studies. Gossip is actually very useful. It's how we share information. But of course, that information has to be accurate, 
yeah it has to be accurate and really fox news has had you know no attempt in trying to portray accurate news or news that's worth newsworthy cussing out someone's dog on national television is not news that is just gossip yeah and that is just not even worth it but the other one i the other archetype i want to uh, talk about is the don juan yeah the don juan now why 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 am i saying the don juan so if we look at the shadow attribute so it's like using the power of romantic a romantic attraction for private agendas yeah and you're probably thinking romantic what i mean by this is is fox news has seduced millions of people into believing lies yeah that's why i say they've got it's like a foxtrot and i'm gonna just put a little uh image you know sometimes i put a little dance at the end of the um of my videos so stay watching to, to see that just a little example i mean i'll see if youtube allows me to keep it but um but the point is is that um this is a dance yeah this is this is choreographed this is a core this is choreography between this uh between lies and gossip and seduction and and this is why i say they're foxtrot news because what they're doing is they're playing this clever dance where they're moving here and there and when they get called out on their bs they say well actually no it was news because blah 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 and when they're called out again what do they do they make another move yeah and dance and they give this slick presentation as if what they're saying has more merits than it actually does and that's why i thought i i just had to kind of um just go on and mention that another image i want to show you is from this book, uh, you know, which I really love, which is about uh, the artwork of J.W. Waterhouse, yeah, who did The Lady of Shalott, yeah, one of my favourite paintings. And in here, I want to show you an image that I feel perfectly encapsulates what Fox News is up to and what they're doing. And this is an image of Circe the sorceress and i'm not talking about just cersei from game of thrones the original cersei from greek mythology and it's an image of her poisoning the sea if we look here i'll just hold this up yeah so here we are cersei invidiosa cersei poisoning the sea and this was painted in 1892 so i'll just hold it up again the book's quite heavy Hopefully you can see that and you can see there is that image where there is that malefic intent and if you look closely see what she's standing on she's standing on a sort of kind of sea monster yeah she's standing on a kind of sea monster you can sort of <clears throat> see where her feet are here and there you can see the intent the focus the intent and the poison is dropping down and for me, that is the perfect analogy for Fox News, because that's what they're doing. They're pouring poison into the minds of the public uh, for, you know, propaganda agendas for obviously the, the far right and goodness knows whoever else <clears throat> is there giving this kind of legitimacy a platform of legitimacy where well, it's not real legitimacy but you know what i mean so that these charlatans and these snake oil sellers can poison the public with falseness and lies and get away with it so as we know there's a big lawsuit that's happening uh well, that's been slapped on them quite rightly so um so dominion and smartmatic <clears throat> are prosecuting fox for 2.4 billion but also as well they're also suing lou dobbs who is probably charlatan of charlatans maria <clears throat> uh bashri uh Bartri romo and 
Gianni Piro. I'm not so I'm not sure if I've said that quite right, but anyway, so what's interesting is they need to prove what? Malice. Yeah, in terms of the lawsuits, malice. Also, as well, the people that are, are being um, uh, having lawsuits against them as well, quite rightly, is Dr. Dribblehead. Yeah, remember him? Giuliani, with that ridiculous, I mean, how anyone can take a person like that seriously. And the other uh, weird, strange one, of course, uh, which I call Queen of the Kra Kra Kraken, and that's Sidney Powell. Yeah, so-called ad advisor. And they're being sued for 1.3 billion each. Now, Foxtrot is very clever, very cunning. Yeah, they're going to dance their way around this. And it's going to be much harder to kind of pin things on them because they're always going to use the defense of news. Yeah, which we know is not news. It's gossip, gossip and dancing. So it's going to be harder to get them. But they say that there is there's a good chance that they'll get Dr. Dribblehead and they'll get the Queen of the Kra Kra Kraken because they have repeatedly gone on the record. I mean, Sidney Powell has said that basically her conspiracy theory is that the Dominion machines and the Smartmatic machines were taken over by, um, by what's his face? Um, the, oh, I should remember his name, but the, the guy in South America that's basically dead, yeah? You know, she's saying a dead guy has, you know, it, it's it's beyond absurdity or, or what I say is beyond satire that these people are taken seriously. How can someone be saying that a conspiracy theory cooked up by someone who's dead? Yeah, it's just utterly ridiculous. And people have swallowed this and gone, yes, it's true, because such is the power <clears throat> of platforms. Yeah, such is the power of gossip. Yeah, and this kind of Don Juan seduction. People are easily, can be easily swayed. Those that don't have discernment. And I think this is something that really needs to be the buzzword uh, going forward across the world, but particularly in, uh, in America, which is discernment, the ability to be able to discern and apply critical thinking to situations to arrive at a, a likely accurate result. Yeah, discernment. Discernment is missing in huge swathes of the population. The fact that someone can say, oh, this is, you know, this, these, these Smartmatic machines were programmed, you know, by someone that's dead. And people legitimately, you know, believe that. That is a ridiculous situation to be in because that truly is the realms of fantasy and it's so unhealthy and we see this spinning, this lying, this, you know, with Foxtrot, you know, doing these dances quite literally with these people who are coming on with their BS and this gaslighting and um, people saying that the reason why Texas didn't have any power is because the wind machines broke down. I mean, come on. And it was to do with the Green New Deal. And there are still people swallowing this. However, it's less with time, because what normally happens with time is that the Don Juans <clears throat> and the gossips, when they're working in the shadow, get found out in the end. They get found out. And we all know what happens, don't we, when we have a friend or so-called friend who what gossips relentlessly about us. What happens? Ping. You get rid of that person or that situation. Likewise, if you've been seduced by Don Juan <clears throat> and you've been led up the garden path and then you find find out what that that person is a cheater. Yeah. Remember, this is what the Don Juan energy is about. And women can have this energy as well. But the um, the female equivalent, of course, is the femme fatale. Yeah, in a, in a similar way. You know, <clears throat> when the players get found out what? They get ditched. Yeah, they get ditched. 
because they realize people realize and wake up oh my god i've been had so there will be changes in fox news because irrespective of if they win the law lawsuit or you know or dominion or you know smartmatic win or they don't win being sued for 2.7 billion is no joke yeah that would make any organization wake up and be like holy moly we've got to do something here they've got obviously they've got to employ the best lawyers they can and whatnot but fox <clears throat> and those other outlets that i mentioned as well because there is this aspect like i said there's this malefic aspect between mercury mercury <clears throat> and the moon we go to the original USA chart. So remember, Mercury is in the eighth house. Yeah, and this is this this deals with all sorts of things. It also deals with disgrace and lies and affairs and all sorts of hidden stuff. It can also deal with wonderful stuff as well, like um, Kundalini and yoga and psychology and stuff. But anyway, the point is, Mercury, planet of communication, is with Rahu. <clears throat> which is smoke and is can be prone to illusions and lying is in the eighth house and the lord of that eighth house because uh it's in cancer is ruled by the moon i've said this before where does the moon go the moon goes to the third house of communication so there is this malefic aspect yeah so in a way if we imagine rahu and and mercury are acting like Circe, yeah? Acting like Circe and poisoning the minds of everyday um, Americans and those that are drinking from, from that are effectively being poisoned. It's, it's a mind virus. They are literally telling out and out lies. So we'll see what happens um with all of this stuff going forward we also see as well just uh, on another note do you see how the republican the gop the grand old prostitute party are suddenly raising uh these the proposition of changing adjusting uh, the election laws um in in i think it's 49 states yeah, changing like, oh, you have to register for this and that. You've got to have photo ID to be able to vote. Closing the window of time that people can have to actually vote on election days. I mean, how is this being tolerated? This is ridiculous. It's like, OK, we couldn't steal the election the first time where, you know, with the insurrection and we didn't succeed. So now we're literally going to try and pass these laws to um, disenfranchise people. And they're doing this nakedly in front of everyone. This is this is this is coup upon coup attempt here. And America, there are some. Most of it, obviously, Americans are aware of, of what's going on, but there are, are a lot that are not with it and they need to wake up because I think it's awful what's happened in Texas. But you know what? I would say that's woken up a lot of people. Yeah, because when your survival is threatened and of course I need to do my next survival archetype video but when your survival is threatened and you going through hardship and poverty and you've got these people coming out with all their bs saying that what you're feeling and experiencing is not real or it's because of some wind machines and whatnot i don't care who you are you're going to think differently about your situation because no one in texas wants icicles dangling off the cooling fan <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like that for me just summed the whole thing up. So, um, so again, this is this is about you know gossip, the malicious side of 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 gossip, or when gossip is elevated to news. And this is also about the Don Juan, like I said, this dance, this fox trot, yeah, that Fox News is taking everyone on and it's a very very dangerous dance 
But people are waking up. And people are waking up because they're realizing that there is poison in the media, social media, everywhere, you know. Um, but I just thought I would use that picture because I think that just so encapsulates what everything is, is about. And sometimes we have to reach into the myths, the ancient myths, to understand some of the archetypal shapes and forms that are being expressed right now. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. If you would like, a, <clears throat> if you would like a consultation with me, then my um, please feel free to visit my website. My April dates are um, open; they are filling up fast. So get get stuck in, and um, and have a look uh, as well. I've also got a new consultation which is about love and relationships and uh, being able to exploring. Um, one's relationships or one's ideal partner from the seventh house and using that as the ascendant which i combine with other techniques as well and stuff like that so um, i hope you've enjoyed that video i felt i had to speak on fox news and i will see you soon for the next one so thanks very much have a great day everyone and again thank you so much as well to all the new subscribers and I want to say a thank you to to all my clients as well. You guys are amazing. You have some amazing stories. And after today, I would have seen 270 clients. Wow. Since November. My goodness. This is why I've got, you know, puffy eyes. <laughs> But it's been wonderful. It's been a wonderful time. Obviously, I'm taking a little bit of a, of, of a break. I still see some some people, but it will be like a break for March where I'm going to work on other stuff, artworks, as I said, said, and maybe some editing and bits and bobs. And then April, I'll be back, hopefully fully rejuvenated and refreshed where my working patterns are slightly different. But it has been wonderful so far and such a blessing so i just want to say thank you again and a big shout out as well like i said to to, to all of my friends and clients.